If you're watching this video, you have probably just become a team admin for your cruise project hosted on Avid Nexus system. Well, good for you. Now you can make your creative teams work smoother and more effective. Avid Nexus system admin has created a team for your crew. That means you now have an exclusive part of the shared storage dedicated only to your project. When logging into Avid Nexus Client Manager on their workstations, crew members would only see workspaces created within your team. No one else will be able to see or access them. So if you're making a confidential project, you no longer need to codename your workspaces. You can make it user-friendly within the safe boundaries of a team. Let me show you what exactly can you do with your team admin privileges. First, open your browser and type the IP address provided by your Nexus system admin. Enter your username and password. At first login, you will be asked to change your password unless you were told to use your company's domain username and password, so-called LDAP user. What you can see now is Avid Nexus Management Console interface, a simplified version that only contains options you can manage. The interface opens on Workspaces page. It may already be populated by workspaces created by your system admin or empty, like this one. To create a workspace, go to top right corner and click Add button. A form will open. Top section shows you how much space you have available for your workspaces within the Teams quota set by the system admin upon Teams creation. Please note that if the system admin has given your team quota in more than one so-called storage groups, you can see their properties by choosing from this drop-down list. Now let's move down to the attributes. That's where you define your new workspace's name and capacity, or decide on the protection level, one or two disks, if your system admin provided you with that choice. You can also set triggers for the system to notify the administrator if workspace usage raises above a certain percentage. Note that there might be certain naming policies forced by the system admin. For example, a prefix might be added to every workspace or username. Or using spaces in the name might be disabled. In such case, you will be notified upon save operation like you can see right here. Before you save a workspace, you can also scroll down and set users read-write privileges for this workspace. This is not mandatory at this stage, you can modify this at any time. Now, let's move to the Users page under Users section on the left-hand menu. Again, this list might already be populated by your system admin or empty. To add a user, simply click Add. Now you can choose the name and password. Note that certain naming policies may apply here as well. Your Nexus system also supports LDAP users. If your system admin has set up this functionality, you and your crew members can log in using domain usernames that they use all across the company. Below, you can also choose users' read-write privileges for all workspaces existing within the team. Right above that, you can also see a group membership section. Groups are a powerful tool to manage rights of multiple users. For example, you can create groups of assistant editors, editors, colorists, and graphic designers. Let's assume you have five episodes of a series and each of them is placed in a separate workspace. After the episode one is done editing, you can open the editors group and change their permissions on workspace called episode one to read only. So they won't be able to change a sequence that is already in color grading and they won't disrupt the workflow. Now, let's take a closer look at the first group on the list. This is a team administrators group. Members of this group share your administrative privileges. They can log in to Avid Nexus Management Console with their credentials and perform all the tasks that we described before. Thanks to the existence of this group, you can delegate your abilities to, for example, an assistant editor working on the night shift, so she or he wouldn't need to wake up anybody if runs out of space. As you can see, now your team has plenty of new capabilities to make your workflow run smoothly. For more information, click the Help button in the upper right corner where you can find a link to a detailed Avid Nexus administration guide.